Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dani Ray. A Dani Ray. A Dani Yani 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 Ray. Ay. And I am coming back to you with a get ready with me, chit chat, get ready with me. This will be my update video of 2022. I wanted to catch you guys up with all that has been going on with me, let you in on all the new things that's happened in my life so that once I start posting new content, you guys will be all caught up. <laughs> I didn't think it would be right for me to start posting consistently again without doing this video. So that's where we are. <laughs> um, I might see him a little all over the place because I just did this get ready with me and I am supposed to be out of the house by now to go see Jasmine Sullivan. So I'm going to leave and I'm going to let y'all, you know, see the rest of the video. But before you move on into the video, I wanted to say thank you so much for being on this journey with me and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you are already a Tiny Ray doll. If you are new here, I'm Tiny Ray. And you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you can become a Donnie Ray doll and join the family. And if you want to be notified every single time that I upload, then hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified, okay? So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey y'all, it's your girl Donnie Ray here and I am looking crazy. I am about to get ready to go to the Jasmine Sullivan concert and I wanted to... You know give you guys a i'm gonna be moving fast because i'm late <laughs> but i wanted to give you guys just a where i've been an update video i wanted to give you guys an update video so here goes nothing <laughs> so a lot has happened since the last time you guys saw me well this year i uploaded a video i uploaded a Be Simone Beauty lip gloss haul and I also uploaded y'all gonna hear me moving around I'm literally getting ready to go to the Jasmine Sullivan concert as I'm talking to y'all <laughs> but like so I may not even look at the camera for real like y'all got the you know you know feel me okay but yeah so I didn't think it was would be right for me to come back on YouTube without telling you guys like how I've been what I've been up to all of that update you guys on life and it's changes before i just start uploading vlogs and stuff so um 2020 i started getting like burnt out and i was going through a whole bunch of stuff like personally and so i kind of fell out of love with making content i fell out of love with myself i wasn't in the best like mindset at all so i was creating content but then if you go look back at those videos you'll see that i wasn't even talking for real. i just was like doing art on myself and so like that's boring like you're not you're not even engaging with your audience and so i should have took a break then but i didn't want to i just was using makeup as a form of therapy and I just created those videos in the best way I could. I didn't feel like doing no voiceovers or none of that. So you just basically got silent painting videos of me. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that's what happened in 2020. Toward the end of 2020, like I experienced the craziest type of stuff that you could ever imagine. Whatever you imagine in your head, 10 exit, okay? <laughs> and i knew that i had to get myself out of that mental place and so um i honestly stepped away from youtube and just overall content creation because i just didn't have the mental capacity to create or make anything worthwhile and i also wasn't happy with like my living arrangement or anything like that so I just kind of gave up on myself mid-2020 and toward the end of 2020, I had to reinvent myself and reestablish my faith in God and, you know, believing in his plans for my life and, you know, just reestablishing my relationship with him. Beginning of 2021, I... um. I was in a much better headspace, but I still wasn't a hundred percent. At that point, I was in like grind mode, right? And and I was believing God for like a new spot 
to um i was believing god for a new spot to like live in and stuff like that so i was really exercising my faith towards that and he did end up giving me my own place in february of 2021 so from there and i have all this vlog so i wanted to give you guys an update video just talking to y'all and telling y'all like what was going on um before i started uploading all those vlogs of me moving in and me decorating and all of that um so yeah and this is just like a basic routine i literally just use the Too faced born this way concealer to um carve out my brows nothing special this is about to be so quick y'all so after that i moved into my spot and i felt like i was going to be turning over a new leaf i felt like i was going to be you know exercising my faith just so much because i used my faith to get in here um before i moved out in 2020 like so much stuff was going crazy for me like it would be something so simple like i was i was believing god for me to be moving and the devil just would do all kind of stuff like from making my my closet fall apart like i was I, I i got comfortable in there i really stayed longer than i was supposed to and because i was staying longer than i was supposed to in a situation like honestly y'all if god tell y'all to move y'all better move okay <laughs> so at that point i stayed longer because it was comfortable and at that point i was only spending maybe like 500 dollars on rent and all of that so you know, I had roommates, so it was a comfortable situation for me as far as financially. And to come into my new place, it was going to be a stretch because, you know, everything in Atlanta on your own is at least a thousand dollars. Right. And so I was believing God for a place to stay, but I really believe for real that, you know, I will be able to pay it. Like we were in a pandemic. <laughs> it was just a lot going on. And I'm a freelance makeup artist, so it's just, you know, the business is, it, it fluctuates. So I didn't, I was believing for a place, but I really wasn't, you know, hell bent on having a place that was like $1,500 by myself. Because I'm like, oh, what if, you know, my clients don't come in? I don't know. <laughs> What's going to happen? I don't want to lose my spot. So 2021, beginning of 2021, I ended up moving in here which i will um show you guys like a little clip right here but i will have a full uh apartment tour from last year i've been here for a year at this point so this video is long overdue so um i had that and i moved in here february 2021 and from there i just started having so many clients and then i was praying I was asking God to give me, you know, the finances to be able to start my own, you know, cosmetics line. Child, I prayed that prayer. Within 10 minutes, a client called me and she said she wanted to pay me like full, uh, four weeks in advance or whatever. And girl, it was, you know, the biggest lump sum that I had received to date in my business. And so I was just like, oh my God, like literally 10 minutes after I had prayed, well, Lord, if you give it to me, I'm going to start. Do you think I started? No, I did not start. So I let fear come in and stop me because I use, I ended up using the money. I wasn't frivolous with it, but I used the money to pay up some bills and, you know, but that's not what God gave it to me for. So over the next few months, um, Clients started slowing down. Um, and just to go back a little bit, I did, I, I put my business in an LLC. And I started taking a business course to help me like build my website and build my clientele and really just take freelance makeup artistry seriously. And this was my main source of income. And so... Whenever I saw a lump sum of money, instead of continuing to be in faith like I have been the whole year, I took the money and it's like I chose fear over faith and I just like paid up all my bills, which in, you know, 
in the worldly eye or the natural eye it's smart that's a good decision it's not like i did a bad thing i like paid my bills and i you know but that's not what god gave me the money for so over the next few months i started making like money okay <laughs> and i still didn't every time i would try to like start my business or start doing products and stuff like that um it's like I got scared. I kept feeling like I didn't know what I was doing. And so I just let fear consume me and I just, you know, I never did it. So coming into 2022, I ended up getting COVID. <laughs> I ended up getting COVID at the beginning of 2022. And my clients really slowed down, like right before COVID. It was like November. Like after my 20th birthday, like my business, my makeup artist business slowed down and I just, I don't know, I, and I, and I got COVID. So when I got COVID, I'm like, well, Lord, I don't go nowhere. I don't even understand how I got COVID because I'm in the house. Like my business is right here. Like this is in my house. This is supposed to be, you know, the dining area of the apartment, but I transformed it into where I do makeup at. And so, um, I just was like downtrodden and I felt like, you know, giving up on everything. Cause I'm like, bro, if I'm not working with my hands, I'm not making anything. So COVID really showed me that, you know, I, I really need, if I would have did, <laughs> What God told me to do when God told me to do it, I wouldn't have been hurting financially, mentally, none of that. Because all of that is, you know, anguish. It makes you anxious. It makes you fearful of the next thing. I wouldn't have been any of that had I done what God told me to do in August of the year prior of 2021. Because I would have already had a product. I would have already, I would have been making money while I had COVID, you know. And in hindsight, hindsight is always 2020. But in hindsight, I let fear, I let the enemy let me believe when in reality, when I moved in here, I didn't have nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no money. I didn't have nothing. I was literally moving on faith. I didn't know how the money was going to show up for me to even get the spot. I didn't know how the money was going to show up. For anything i didn't know where the apartment was going to be i just know that god told me that it was time for me to move and so i moved my feet i started looking at houses and stuff without <laughs> the money for a down payment and none of that i just i just started searching for the house that god would put me in and i literally gave up on the search and when i gave up on the search i passed by this apartment complex and something in me was just like you know one more place Girl, I looked at this apartment on the 13th. I was in here by the 25th. That same guy told me to start my product line in August of 2021. Because he knew that at the end of the year, that it was going to slow down for me. And I was going to end up being sick and all of that. And I needed something to fall back on. Child, I wish I would have listened because... That fear crippled me and had me believing, you know, that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to maintain my lifestyle. Like, I was going to have to give it all up, all that. And when I'm like that, in that mindset, there is no creation happening. Create what? Mass turmoil. <laughs> so, and I was also very inconsistent. All that shit, too, I was, like, telling the Lord, I'm like, listen, I'm going to do the content. I'm going to do everything that you want me to do. Child, I started making boohoo money. Hey, y'all, this is editing me, so I might sound a little crazy, but I wanted to add context. So, the money I was making, the resources to fund, you know, my guide vision, which was for me to start to diversify my income by creating products. But because of my mindset, I was so afraid 
of you know the fact that I had all these new bills and all of that other stuff that I let that fear stop me from moving forward with what I had intended to do it was not in God's plan or God's will for me to get into the place of the promise and then be afraid of the promise so much so that I started to use the resources that he was giving me to keep going forward I used that to stifle me because instead of being grateful that everything was working out for me I was still afraid I was so afraid I'm like oh my god where are these clients coming from oh my god where is this money coming from oh my god what is this gonna do? oh my god oh my god every opportunity it was just oh my god why are you so afraid you're here you're where you wanted to be so relax and just enjoy the ride <laughs> but I couldn't do that so back to the video and it's like all that went out the window I stopped posting I never was really consistent on social media, but it was like, I just was not posting. I was worried about my clients because I had a social media, um, I was doing social media consulting and growing that account. So I wouldn't even post for myself. The only time I would post is like during the holiday, I might do two looks or I might post about my classes or whatever, but consistently posting on social media, I wouldn't do it. YouTube videos, ha, huh, not doing it. <laughs> You know, like I was focused on making money when in reality, all God was asking me for was my obedience. The money was coming to me. There was nothing that I had to do. I don't advertise my makeup business. I don't advertise anything. And anytime I needed anything, God showed up and he made sure I didn't go it out. So like. It was just like, and I know I'm, I'm probably all over the place, but it was just like, I was fearful of losing my material possessions when that's not, that's not what this was about. This was about me exercising my faith in God and being okay with him directing my, directing my path and him being, and me being okay with it not looking the way that. I think it should look because obviously I'm not that smart. You know what I'm saying? Like he the one who orchestrated all of this. So at the end of the day, it don't matter. It didn't matter, you know, that I couldn't see how it was gonna happen. He already knew. So child, that looks so dark. Oh my god. So I just did my best with makeup and I used this brush on her and I'm talking, not even realizing that I didn't use her brush. And like the concealer I use on her is dark because she's deeper complexion than me. Dang. So this look a little crazy, y'all, but bear with me, child. But anyway, um, so yeah, I let fear stifle my growth. But this year, I said that I was gonna be consistent on social media and that. I'm coming back to YouTube and I'm gonna do everything that you know I've been given to do and I just came on here to say that I missed y'all and you know I probably was all over the place just now and like another thing about social media it's just like being on social media is a little discouraging sometimes because you know you may not be growing as fast as everybody else or whatever, but you have to realize that, you know, you have to realize where you are and like who you're called to. And just make sure you focus on that and then let God do the increase to whatever, you know, because I feel like the reason why I don't grow or I haven't grown as fast is one, I ain't been consistent, that's number one. Number two, I ain't been doing all the other stuff I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> so, this is my year of recovery. This is my year of going after all the things that God put on my heart and just trusting the process and knowing that He is sovereign and whatever I need, He's going to provide as long as I'm moving forward, as long as I'm doing the work that He put in me to do. And I know that one of the things that I am called to do is this you know and sometimes i get nervous um to come on here and talk i'm like what if i sound stupid what if what if nobody watches me or whatever it ain't about that it's about obedience it's about 
sacrificing what I think it should look like and being okay with doing what he told me to do, you know? And he's giving me the desires of my heart. I just been too afraid to see that, you know? And playing the comparison game and seeing other people flourish and all of that. It got people that I've been on here with, you know, people that, like that was this one girl, right? She, her and I, I had more followers than her, right? And I told her like, she was so talented and I had, you know, I had really like reached out to her. I was like, let's do a collaboration. I love your work. At the time she had like a thousand followers, whatever. And so I drug my feet with that. That girl started going up all 2020, 2021. And now she getting brand deals and all of that because she was she was consistent and I was not. You know, and so that showed me too, you know, you when God tell you to go, you gotta go. Before you if you take too long to move your feet, you might lose your seat, you know? So I said all that to say that I am back and I am better. And despite of everything that went on, I am working on being consistent. So on here, my goal is to upload twice a week. Like on Wednesdays, I want to upload. So this might go up on a Thursday. But moving forward, on Wednesdays, I want to do like wind down Wednesdays or what's up Wednesdays where I come on here. And I just talk to y'all about whatever's on my heart and do makeup, you know? And then on Sundays, y'all can expect a vlog from me. Now, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what the vlog will be hitting on for real, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just put it out there. <laughs> Cause I used to post vlogs and it seemed like you guys liked them, so. Um, I'm gonna do a vlog on Sundays. My weekly vlog on Sundays. I hope everything I said made sense, right? <laughs> I'm just all over the place because I'm trying to do this and talk to y'all at the same time. But yeah, just comparing myself to the next person, that was a flaw of mine too. I'm working on that, preparing, comparing myself to like why I think I should be on social media, but you know, working on being consistent, working on the stuff that I can't control, cause ain't nobody doing it to me but me. Like, I'm not consistent, <laughs> you know. Well, I was not consistent. I'm consistent now. Let's speak that. But, and I didn't exercise, you know my faith in the way that I should have so now that that's out of the way I am here and I will be posting so just make sure that y'all tell me what y'all want to see in the comments because I'm definitely listening to what y'all want because I want y'all to enjoy yourself I want y'all to learn something um I want this to be a place where we both learn from each other. We grow together. And I saw that y'all kept subscribing while I've been missing, which I appreciate. Cause I've been on YouTube for a while. The numbers don't reflect it. But I've been on YouTube since 2015. In no year have I been consistent. <laughs> no year. But that change. That's changing in 2023. I'm going to be consistent and see where it, where it takes me. You never know. You never know until you try. But I know for sure that last year taught me that listen because you never know like what God is trying to tell you to do something. You got to do it when he tell you to do it so that he can prevent certain things from happening and I just got that revelation while sitting here talking to y'all I never even thought about the fact that had I done what he gave me to do and gave me the resources to do like I said 10 minutes 
gave me the resources to do. But I chose fear. But had I done that, once I got sick with COVID, all this um having to catch back up wouldn't have happened because I would have still been making money off of my business. Off of my products. So just overcoming your mindset, overcoming overcoming like imposter syndrome overcoming all those things that keep you bound to the person that you used to be overcoming the feeling of scarcity overcoming all the things that the devil trying to tell you about yourself that's not true <laughs> just overcoming that that was way too much power though I'm gonna link everything below so that y'all could y'all could actually see like what I'm using. <laughs> Cause I ain't said nothing about makeup since I've been talking to y'all. Well yeah. What y'all can expect from me is more content. Like I said, Wednesdays I will upload I will upload um what's up wednesdays or wind down wednesdays y'all help me come up with a name for wednesdays uh videos but it'll be topics and if y'all want to ask me questions about anything i'm game and we can talk about it we can grow together and again on sundays it'll be more so um vlogs so that should be fun should be vlogs on you know my week or if not my week it'll be a day out of my week that was interesting because for the most part i've been in the house i've been in the house building my business <laughs> so i can show y'all that the life of an entrepreneur. That's what I can show y'all on Sunday. So yeah. But that's basically it guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to cut this off. Because I'm basically done. I don't really have anything else to say at the moment. So I'm going to finish up my face. And I'm going to show y'all the finished look. This is like my basic glam. I'm going to show y'all the finished look. And I'm going to show y'all like what I'm wearing. And I'm, I'll am i probably show y'all like some snippets of Jasmine. But yes. I did miss y'all. And I'm so happy to be back. I hope that y'all miss me. And I can't wait to take this journey together. Look at love someone else. Okay, y'all, this is what I'm looking like. I'm going to insert a clip right here so y'all can see the full outfit. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so happy to be back. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. I don't know when this video is going up. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, but I'll see you guys on Thursday. I'm going to upload this video on Thursday. So by the time y'all see this, It'll already be up. And I will have a vlog for you guys on Sunday. I'm going to start dropping the vlogs that I did last year when I first moved in here. Um, and I'm going to show you guys like when I first moved in, how it was. I'm going to show you guys how I built this beauty room and all of that. So yes, I can't wait to pump out this new content to you guys. I want to thank you again for rocking with me all this time. And I will see you in my next video. So many people. You know you're old. Oh my God. Oh, you understand the man you are. Baby, you shine so bright. I would just dare go star. How is it? If I had a job, but everything I would have wrapped me. All the girls would be riding with me. Boys at home.
really don't disturb them. And I buy cheap dress every Cause I go to every show and every Yeah, and I got a little good with a reference He's a hero I can't breathe, I can't even hang with the army And I'm just not a trust me, I'm